Schmidt, now 632 in our top local story for you now. A manhunt near Bozeman Pass has still not come to an end. Authorities say it all started because of drunk driving. MTN's Mallory Peoples spoke with authorities and the suspect's family to bring us the latest. For more than 14 hours, there's been nonstop activity here north of I-90 on Quinn Creek Road. It's where police officers have been staging their search area, both by ground and air. I was surprised. I thought it was a joke at first. The sound of a helicopter flying overhead woke many people in this area. Then, by neighbors or police, word made its way around quickly. An armed man was on the loose. I made sure I grabbed the gun and <laughs> I locked the doors. Challenged by terrain, the massive effort to bring Sean Z. Cole into custody Wednesday included law enforcement from local, county, state, and federal levels. SWAT and FBI both present in the search. They say the 37-year-old three-time felon is known to them, not just because of his past, but due to current investigations. Authorities say it all started when they got a 911 call about a drunk driver in a white sedan. Uh, they made a stop on it. The stop didn't last very long. Uh, the driver, the male, was, was obstructing the investigation. And and then he fled. Park County Under Sheriff says when authorities caught up with Cole, he pointed a pistol out the window and fired back at them. They backed off and found the car a few miles up the road being driven by a woman who was previously the passenger. She was arrested with unknown charges to come. Even with heavy police presence, people returning home say they're a bit nervous. It has a good end, but anytime you shoot at the cops, who knows? I did speak with Cole's family, who says this entire thing is being blown out of context. They say this is out of his character, and they're concerned for his safety. Reporting from Bozeman Pass, I'm Mallory Peebles with MTN News. Now, a photo of the suspect right here. Uh, this is Sean Z. Cole. He said he, they say he's 5'11", weighs about 170 pounds, and he's a red matted down mohawk. Authorities say do not approach him. If you see him, call 911. When we spoke with Park County of Sheriff's Office last night, Sergeant Brad Bickler says they will be using infrared flare as they search throughout the night. We'll continue to update you on that story as news becomes available. Meantime, I'm